From being born in Finch Fort, raised in White Haven, graduating from Central High School, through 24 years of legal practice, I am an advocate for the community, for justice, and for equality. My name is Carlos Bibbs, and I'm an experienced attorney seeking a judgeship in Circuit Court Division Two. Circuit Court deals with business issues, divorces, medical malpractice, and name changes, just to list a few. It's important to have experienced advocates in our courtrooms, from the council table to the bench. As your next Circuit Court judge, I will treat each litigant fairly and with respect from beginning to end. I ask each of you for your support and your vote, because together we can bring about justice and equality in our community. This is Atticus Matthews. You know, it's not often that I can say that a candidate that is running for office is truly a good person and will do exactly what they say they will do if elected. But I can say that about Judge Lonnie Thompson, Judge General Sessions Court, the Vision Six. Lonnie Thompson and I shot models. We played kickball in the street. We lived next door to each other. We grew up in the same church. Lonnie Thompson is fair in his court, and I know he's fair because I've been in his court, and he recused himself because of our lifelong friendship. Lonnie Thompson deserves to be re-elected as your General Sessions Court Judge in Division 6. He has 23 years of experience as a judge. Trusted leadership and trusted experience is what you get in Judge Lonnie Thompson. So on August 4th, vote to re-elect Judge Lonnie Thompson, General Sessions Court Division 6. Early voting starts July 15th through the 30th. Paid for by the committee to elect Judge Lonnie Thompson, Judge Sheila Edwards is a treasurer. You know, in this election cycle, when it comes to electing judges, not only do you want honesty and integrity, but you want experience as well. And experience is exactly what you will get when you elect Stuart Breakstone Circuit Court Judge Division 6. Stuart Breakstone is a Shelby County native. He graduated from Germantown High School, earned his undergraduate MBA and law degrees from Memphis State University. Stuart Brinkstone began practicing law in 1991. He has broad experience in the courtroom. Stuart has tried over 50 civil jury trials and 300 bench trials in circuit, chancery, and juvenile court. He has argued more than 50 cases before the Tennessee Court of Appeals. Stewart has been a alternative resolution dispute mediator since 2013. He has spoken at dozens of seminars on topics such as evidence, contempt, and family law. Stewart is past president of the family law section of the Memphis Bar Association. When you're considering the right candidate, Judge by experience, vote Stuart Breakstone for Judge Circuit Court Division 6 on August the 4th. Early voting starts on July the 15th. Paid for by friends of Stuart Breakstone, Nick Rice Treasurer. Veronica Cooper wants to be elected as judge in General Sessions Court Division 5. Veronica Cooper got her law degree in 1997 from the Villanova University, did her undergraduate work at the Morris Brown College in 1994. Veronica Cooper has 25 years in private practice admitted to the United States Court of Appeals for the 6th District. 
She's also a former college professor, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. She is also a member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. She is very diverse in this community, holding no prejudice and feel that everyone should be equal and treated with fair justice. She also says that Shelby County needs a judge who knows that her role is to serve the people by showing up to work, working hard, and treating those that come before her with respect and dignity. She says, I am that judge. She says vote for her because she will show up and eliminate the current waste in General Sessions Division 5. She will value the citizens of Shelby County and work hard on their behalf and respect the bench and respect those who come before her. Early voting starts on July the 15th through the 30th. Election day is August the 4th. Vote for Veronica Cooper Judge, General Sessions Court, Division 5. Pay for by the committee to elect Veronica R. Cooper Judge, Ada Tootin, is the treasurer. This is that against Matthews. You know, people are always asking me, who do I feel is a great lawyer that can handle their criminal or their civil matters? And I always have to recommend my lawyer of over 25 years, Joe Osmond. Now I want to recommend my friend and my lawyer, Joe Osmond, for Criminal Court Judge Division 2. Joe Osmond has been practicing law for 30 years. Joe Osmond is a man of honor, a man of integrity, a man that if you, your family, or your friends have to stand in front of him, you know whether you're the victim or the defendant, the courtroom of Joe Osmond is about justice and fairness for all. Joe Osmond is committed to helping find solutions in the community and to making the right decisions in the courtroom regarding those that can be saved and those that should be incarcerated to save others. Vote Joe Osmond, Criminal Court Judge Division 2. Early voting starts July 15th through the 30th. Election day is August 4th. Paid for by the committee to elect Joe Osmond, Criminal Court Judge Division 2, Michael Working Treasurer. I'm Judge Betty Thomas Moore. I have had the honor and the privilege to serve as your judge in Division 5 of General Sessions Civil Court for the past 16 years. I made history as the first elected female judge of the Shelby County General Sessions Civil Court. I dispose of thousands of cases making impartial and just decisions. I am proud to serve Shelby County. Thank you for your vote. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Betty Thomas Moore, Alvin Moore, Treasurer. citizens of District 86. My name is Will Richardson and I'm asking to be your next state representative. I'm a husband, I'm a father, grandfather, multiple business owner, decorated veteran, man of God, and I care about the people. Yes, we have our challenges within our city, in our state. That's why I'm asking for your support to continue the legacy and the hard work of our district. I want to be your voice in Nashville to assist in lowering crime, bringing better education for our children, bringing quality and affordable health care, and jobs back to our city. Remember, on August 4th, to consider me, Will Richardson, as your next state representative for District 86. Remember, where there's a will, there's a way. electing a judge you want to make sure 
that that person has a knowledge of the law, has experience in the law, has integrity, and is known to be an honest person. And you will get all of these qualities if Teresa Hewitt is elected as the judge in General Sessions Criminal Court Division 11. She's represented many in the Shelby County area as their attorney. Now she wants to represent all Shelby Countyans. If elected, when you walk in her courtroom, you will know you are about to be treated fairly. Your status or your culture will not determine your outcome. Only how you as a person can receive justice according to to the law. On August 4th, vote for fairness on the bench. Vote Teresa Shooting, General Sessions Criminal Court Judge, Division 11, paid for by the committee to elect Teresa Hewlett, Larry Williams, Treasurer. Education, experience, community involvement, special legislation, conferences and workshops, family, church, and friends, honesty, integrity, accessibility, what Barbara Cooper brings to you and me, she'll take the stand, together we can win. Reenact Barbara Cooper, State Representative, District 86, paid for by friends of Barbara Cooper. Good evening. Welcome again to still the most controversial show on TV, radio, or anywhere. And just when you thought it was safe, it is absolutely, positively, not ever a safe place to be. When there is so much corruption and there is so much that is going on in our community, that we need to talk about people that we need to talk about hey Lorena over on the Facebook page how you doing Shanita love okay uh it's there is so much that must be discussed and I've come to the conclusion and probably you as well that ain't nobody going to talk about certain issues and not talk about certain people but me. No no punches are going to be moved. I thought I'd wear my, one of my own t-shirts today and not put on a uh, candidate t-shirt. Um... Uh, in fact, my D2G, I got to play their commercial too when we come out. Uh, let me set up here as a next commercial we started with. Uh, a local firm here that does all of my t-shirts. I've been doing my t-shirts ever since I started to doing it. And if you need a good t-shirt done, you can call my good friend John Odom over at D2G Screenshots. Anything you want on a t-shirt just take a picture of it and he can put it on you on there let me get a few things out of the way and then we're going to get directly into 
the show. Let me say something that many of you, for some reason, wanted me to say something on yesterday, and because you wanted me to see it, I wouldn't see it. Let me personally congratulate Stan Bill as the new morning show host over at WDIA. Uh, Stan and I go back a long time, at least 25 years in this business. Stan Bill and I have never had a cross word uh, in this business. I respect him highly. Uh, every time I see him, he's one of those people we talk every day, every month, every, every six months. But there, we are very cordial when we meet each other. So, uh, to those who wanted me to say something ill, or you thought that I would say something ill, fuck you. Okay? Uh, it's, it's not that type of party. Uh, WDIA is doing, going to do well with Stan Bell. And once my Memphis radio station here in Memphis gets back up to full powers, waiting uh, on some pause, then Stan has to compete with me and I have to compete with him from 6 on to 10 in the morning time. And that's what it's all about. That's, that's what keeps you on your toes. In the evening time, I have no goddamn competition. Nowhere. That no one's show is as raw and as blunt. This show so blunt you can roll it and smoke it. Uh, and I'm grateful for all of you who tune in every day just to see who I am going to slower. Uh, but again, congratulate uh, uh, Stan, I was reading something, Stan Bell, <coughs> the bell ringer is going to do it. Now y'all can quit worshiping a dead man. God damn. What we're going to do now that Bobby going, hell, go with him. Shit. God damn. It, it was no ground out there. But artists come and artists go. Okay. And those of us that sit behind or in front of these microphones and these cameras, especially those of us like uh, Stan and myself, and I can't think of anybody else here in this city who has the longevity of doing this. We all realize that there is a day that we all gotta go. Uh, Bobby OJ used to say that he wanted to die down there but well, God damn it, I do not want to die doing what I do. Okay, this is not, I want to do this as long as I have the health and the strength. And some days the strength ain't there as I try to climb up all of those stairs to come up to the second floor of my house and do, uh, do the show. But I, uh, Clear Channel, I Heart, or whatever the name, of the company is uh, I don't know Mel Mel is your TV on downstairs come here close my door for me cause I'm picking up the TV downstairs too Thank you, Quita. You know, I'm, I've been doing this so long that um, you got your TV on, down there. Yeah, the, it was. It's picking up. Your sister-in-law made down there. Sister-in-law. I mean, your your sister. I mean. Huh? No. She didn't okay. Work. Thank you. Close that. Or I had to do it when I was letting some of that central air get into this studio. Um, so, 
So, that's enough on Stan. My show will not become the Stan Bell show, just like his show will not become uh, the Thaddeus Matthew show. But I am going to one morning see if I can ease in and call him and congratulate him on air and wish him the very best in doing what he do. Okay. Now, let's go from that point. See, I'm trying to get these church announcements out of the place. Several carpenter who has been working diligently for parents and children in the school system for many years that has an organization that is well funded through a grant program. People outside of Memphis saw what she was doing and a very large grant was put in place for her to do and to continue to fight for children and parents. She went to the board meeting this evening and I knew she was very hyper because I was doing the old men's thing trying to take a nap and she called me about eight times and if you called me this evening and I didn't answer I was I was resting I saw you call uh, but I I was resting uh, got up and this morning did the show then I met with a new uh, candidate that is running for judgeship in a court where I think that there needs to be a change and that's uh, in the courtroom that Chris Kraft now occupies. Uh, I, I left the guy's card downstairs. I got to make him a commercial and for the first time in making a commercial Hell, I'm going to have to practice his name. He's of the Indian descent. But in sitting there and speaking with him and meeting with him on today, I find that he's very capable. He made me also aware of a lot of things that's going on at Judge Chris Kraft's uh, courtroom that is not befitting to the citizens of this community, neither uh, the lawyers that go in there. Uh, all right, now those of you on uh, these pages, the stand bill issue is over, okay? And I did my congratulatories, and that's that on that. But Sarah went to the school board meeting to make sure that the school board members had a packet and to remind them that her group along with myself is asking for the resignation, the fire, we don't give a fuck how George Ray is gone. We just want the simple minded, ugly little short ninja turtle looking motherfucker uh gone. That's that's what that's what we want. And think about it, he do look like that ninja turtle, no? Uh, we just want him gone, okay? You will notice that no minister, no pastor has come out speaking on the dysfunction of our school system. No pastor has spoken out against the immoral acts, his sleeping with the entire school system. No one's spoken out on that. You notice that no politician has spoken out on that. You, you notice that no other media source other than me has spoken out on it. It is not an important matter to many people. But Sarah says that today 
that when she was up speaking, he sat back in his chair and began to laugh. Well, Jarvis, Doris, Morris, whatever the fuck your little squirt looking ass name is, she's not going to give up. And I'm not going to give up on you. I can't do you every day unless there's something to do you about every day. But we have made arrangements to meet with the governor. And when we go, you won't know till we get back. We're going to take all of this information that I have and all of the information that your wife has supplied we're going to take all of that information, my brother, to the governor's office. And we are going to ask for your resignation. We're also going to ask for a forensic audit uh, on all of the finances of Memphis, of the Chevy County, Memphis, whatever it is, school system also have contacted some federal people concerning contracts and things of that particular nature. So motherfucker, I'm still on your ass, okay? And just because I'm not putting a lot of stuff on the page right this minute, and here's what I say about putting stuff on the page from these anonymous sources. You know, I've had women email me about this principal at that school and that principal at that school. They fondling you. They're sexually harassing you. The superintendent has sexually harassed you. But you didn't want to come forward because you were fearful of losing your job. Then the school board policy was researched and found out that you have nothing to fear. That all you have to do is be a whistleblower. There's a clause, and I put it up on my page several days ago. I put the whole policy on my Facebook page, the one that is spelled backwards. And it shows that you can't lose your job. Federal law, the Federal Whistleblowers Act, protects you and your job. I even put the forms on the page for you to fill out, turn in, to become a whistleblower. Tell that this principle is inappropriate with you. Tell that Jarvis Ray has been inappropriate with you. And none of you motherfuckers have done it. So I don't want to hear your motherfucking stories. Some of y'all just gave that pussy away. And when these principals stopped fucking you or went on to the next student or whoever they was going to, you mad. And you want to anonymously, even though many of, your, of yours have your name on them, from you sending them to me. But if you do not have the courage to fight for yourself, my thing is, fuck you. There are so many other things that I have to deal with as far as the school system and jurors, right? I ain't waiting, I'm not going to stand there and be a part of your bullshit. You've lied to yourself and you're lying to the community that you give a damn as a teacher and you want this principal gone and you want that principal gone. But you won't become a whistleblower. You gave the pussy away. Just go on and say it. You suck the dick. Yeah, at the school that you in, you the teacher that sucked the dick because you thought you could go from a first grade teacher to a sixth grade teacher. So if you don't have the gumption to fight for yourself, my sentiment to you is fuck you. I give zero fucks. 
zero fucks about your pussy being fucked. And if you saying you've been abused and you won't fight back, who the fuck am I to fight for your pussy? That's your pussy. If you don't respect your pussy, how the fuck am I supposed to respect your pussy? Touch your neighbor in this house tonight and say, Pastor Show is right. So fuck you. Don't send me no more. About the pastor. I mean, not the pastor. About the, but not, not your pastor, fuck you. But this principal at the school fucking you. And you mad. But you won't say anything about it. I don't give a fuck. And if, and you know, if I, if, if I get mad from your ignorance, I'll post your shit. Because your names come in on it. You coward motherfuckers. Okay? Yeah, you coward motherfuckers. You won't throw rocks and hide your goddamn hand. When I throw a rock at a motherfucker, I want the motherfuckers to know I'm the motherfucker that had the brick, the bore, the mountain that came down on your ass. So, you know, if you ain't ready to go public with your shit and protect yourself, fuck you. Okay? Now, that's my sentiments on that. One other uh, announcement. I'm so glad to see so many of you candidates, especially you judicial candidates, pull away from that crook and that shyster, Brent Taylor. Brent Thompson, who was it? Oh, not Brent Taylor. Please forgive me, Brent Taylor. Brent Thompson and his sidekick, Aaron. In this political game, there are those of us who make money of her. I've done well this season at a fair price. But Brent Taylor, a disbarred attorney with 24 felonies on his record, who stole from the old people, who's been to, to the penitentiary twice. Brent, you made the mistake of fucking with me and my money. You let tell the folks that you can make deals for me. So to all of you candidates, Ain't shit Brent Thompson can do for you. What the fuck? You know, these ballots. $7,500 and $8,500. If you want to pay it, pay it. But a ballot ain't shit. Let me tell you something. See, when you advertise on the Thaddeus Matthews show, you get a collective audience. If I'm on one of them dull... Subjects I might get five or six thousand that night, but I get eleven and twelve thousand on up. I, I remember one night when I was doing the the Dolph Dolph or whatever his name is story, held forty and fifty thousand hits. This was just on YouTube. This does not even mention uh, Facebook. So uh, you got you see your numbers. With these ballots, why are you paying $8,500 to be on a ballot? How is a state representative, touche, got a ballot? Check the ethic laws. How, how do you do that? You spend $8,500 to get your picture on a ballot that's got 10 other folks' pictures on there. And sometimes what the ballot does, the ballot maker, he pay, lets them pay little money so that it looks like he's got a whole lot of folk on his ballot. Please don't be hoodwinked by Brent Thompson. 
Because if he's crazy enough to fuck with me, he's a crazy motherfucker. That's all I'm going to say. Dismiss that little shyster, fast talking motherfucker. Lady today was telling me about Brent and Aaron. They show a bunch of little political fundraisers, which are set aside to raise money. Them motherfuckers want him and Aaron want to come in, eat up your goddamn food, and eat up your little cold cuts and your chicken and shit. Drink up your wine, cause these white folk have good fundraisers. Shit, they don't have church's chicken and Kentucky Fried Chicken. They have their shit catered in. And them, them hungry motherfuckers come in and just eat up your shit and ain't got no strength, ain't got no power. They don't have a platform. So why are you paying these motherfuckers? Judges were paying these motherfuckers to take them to the black church. All you had to do is call a pastor and tell the pastor you're going to leave an offering. He might not let you say something, but he's going to let you stand up, see it. All right. Okay. And you folks that's running for school board, ain't none of you motherfuckers got no money? Shit. I can't do you free. I ain't going to do you free. All of mine is about monties. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. That's my, that's my motto. Toya Hayes. Uh, attention saints and support of Mario from Westwood. Please support his GoFundMe. He's out of work. Fuck that motherfucker, Toya, and fuck you for coming on my motherfucking page begging for a man. That makes you a sorry bitch. Mario, tell the motherfucker to go get a job, bitch. If it ain't nothing but putting your ass on the goddamn whole track. Fuck, come on my page. I'm about support a motherfucking man on his, uh, trying to get a go for me. He ain't got no job. You a sorry ass man if you ain't got no motherfucking job. Now, I'm, I'm going to just tell you the truth. They giving jobs away right now. Giving jobs away. You motherfuckers just don't work. And I don't feel sorry for a motherfucker that it does not have a job. Okay? I don't feel sorry for you. And motherfuckers still be at the service station. I work for food. I, you know, give me some big, big, how is gas is? Let's see. Bonnie Mason, fuck your big lip mama. I know she got big lips because she can wrap them coolers around a dick and you, you just, oh my God. She just got good, your mama got good dick sucking lips. We call them soup coolers. Fuck that bitch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, let me get into this show tonight. I did the... Uh, uh, let's see. Yes, Lord, my job. Need help, bad. Well, you need to go to that motherfucker, Lisa Rucker. You say anything else, bitch, you gone. I don't feel sorry. And let me tell you something. I don't feel sorry for 
you motherfuckers, we y'all got a pussy. Okay? Yeah. Damn. You you got you got a pussy. Yeah. You do. So if you got a pussy, uh them things ain't never supposed to be broke. Ain't never supposed to be broke. If you got a pussy, it is never supposed to be broke. You just don't have proper pussy management. Uh, let me let me say this: this abortion issue can go so many different ways. So I, I was on the air this morning, and this topic came to me. Many women have used abortion as a birth control method. You have what I call an oops baby. And, and many of us, many of us are oops babies. Yeah. Larry, I didn't ask you anything, Pastor, no disrespect. But bro, she was trying to get money for the guy who shot. I didn't shoot the motherfucker. Okay. Because I don't come on my page begging for a motherfucker because he got shot. Niggas getting shot in Memphis every goddamn day. Stop shooting. I'll get you some goddamn insurance. Don't come on my goddamn page telling me Mario needs some help. Fuck Mario. He's probably in the wrong when he got shot. Don't come here begging for him. Shit. Damn. So Larry, your ass are going out. I didn't let you uh, define what a motherfucker said. Shit. Mario, he he yeah, he got a gold for me. Motherfucker, have y'all forgotten about insurance? Get you some goddamn insurance. Motherfucker got y'all gonna have a fish fry. That's what your motherfuckers do when you're broke and ain't got no and ain't got no insurance. Go fry some fish. Go get you some tilapia, some crappies, and all that shit. Go down to the Mississippi River and see what the fuck you can catch. I don't give a fuck. Simple, just as simple as that. Get you some. Insurance, he ain't dead. Well, what the fuck you on my page talking about for? I don't give a fuck. You be his go fund me, motherfucker. You fund his ass. Go and fund his ass. Shit. Motherfuckers out here killing each other. That's when I'd be out of Memphis. Every weekend, shit. If we can't find nowhere to go, we going on down to the damn casino where I can drink, gamble, win me some money. Ooh, I did well this weekend. Uh, lay up, get a nice room, smoke a cigar, get away from you heathen motherfuckers. Shit. So don't don't come to me talking about Mario and got shot. What was a motherfucker doing when it got shot? Okay. And Larry, you make one more comment on it. You block from this page, brother. Now let me get into what I want to talk about. 
The reversal of Roe versus Wade leads to a lot of other things. And we're going to talk about the various other things as we go along in this subject. But here's an issue. Men are known to have side pieces. Women are known to have a side piece. There used to be a time as a pastor, the deacon, the choir director, if he likes pussy. If they fucked you and did nobody know they y'all was fucking, you got pregnant, he could take you down to the clinic. They stick the vacuum up in your pussy, turn it on high, zoop, pull that fetus right on out of you. But those days are gone. You can't get no motion no more. So when your side piece can't abort, what do you do now? What do you what what do you do? What do you turn to? Are you as the man gonna go get one of them old vacuum cleaners that had the big long knobs on it with the big hole on it? Stick it up in your woman and turn it on. Zzz, zap. Kaden Jones, you gone. Is that what you're going to do? You're going to get the coat hanger. What you going to do? This your woman. Your side piece. You married now. You get a side piece. What do you do? Do you push it down a flight of stairs? Do you trip up and make a fall? You can't for your wife to find out that you done got a woman pregnant. You will lose your happy home, half of your income. What you gonna do? Thank you, wife. What is this? Oh, I take some cars and Misco or whatever that shit is in there. <laughs> Jamie ain't got here yet. She coming? Do you want that? You want that? Yes, I want this. Put my Coke back there in the freezer. <sighs> this is so much better than Coca Cola. Yeah, Ooh, it got some fruit in it too. That's watermelon. Huh? That's watermelon. Is it watermelon? That's watermelon. Yeah. And Cosmiscos. No, ain't no damn Cosmiscos. What is something in here? I know it is. Tito's or somebody. Mm. <clears throat> oh. Ooh. Yeah. So what does the man do? What if the woman finds out she's married now? And and she finds out she's pregnant. Not by her husband, 
but she finds out she's pregnant by another man. Does she, at that particular point, try to lay the baby on the husband? She ain't been fucking him, but now all of a sudden she wants to fuck. She wants to lay her relationship, her outside relationship, now in the arms of the husband. Mm. Now, this ain't the first that this went on. This this started in biblical days. Yeah, this this started in, in, in the Bible. Where a man gets you pregnant, but he doesn't want anybody to know that he got you pregnant. Blame it on your husband, baby. I don't want no baby. Hmm? Let's go back to the Bible. There was a man in the Bible. Got by the name of David. David was a man after God's own heart. So don't tell me what church folk and folk who said they love the law won't do. Yes, your pastor fucking. Yes, your deacon uh, and your trustees and your missionaries. They fucking right there in the church. When you think of David the king. The Bible says that David was sitting up on his back with it. One night, probably had him a cigar and a fine drink. Looked over at the next balcony. And the word says, good God Almighty, that he saw a woman washing herself. And you don't wash yourself with no clothes on. She was naked. She knew that the king, he wasn't no punk, he wasn't no sissy. He was looking at her wide ass. Big old juicy titties. Nipples sticking out like a finger. Probably had some of that music that they like to have back in them days and she's just a jive So he asked one of his men, uh, 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 who that? That's a uh, uh, king. <laughs> king. That's a uh, Bathsheba. She's Uriah's wife. Uriah in your army. He up at the wall right now fighting. Go get Bathsheba. Tell Bathsheba I want her to suck up and down on this crown. Make me feel kingly. So, the words 
they enter into an extramarital relationship because she was married. She was committing adultery, not daily, because that you can only commit adultery when you marry. It's fornication otherwise. It's we're having Tuesday night Bible class. So he kept on fucking old Bathsheba. He invited her over every he wouldn't go to her house. Cause he the king, he can't be seen going there. So we have his guys whisk her into the castle. So one year she came home. She didn't come home, came to his home. And she had a frown on her face. David asked Bathsheba, what's wrong, baby? She said, ain't you ready to fuck? Bathsheba says, I'm pregnant. Huh? Shavdell Thomas, you're incorrect. If you go back, I hate you motherfuckers that think you know some biblical shit. She was not his servant. Read, bitch, before you can't try to come on here and count on me. She could have refused giving her my ass if she wanted to. Now you said something else, bitch, you gone. I'm pregnant, David. By this time, it wasn't King. It was it was David. Or uh, Dave. Dave? I'm pregnant. You, 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 what? You, you, what? How did it happen? You fucked me, David. No, what, 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 what we gonna do? What, 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 what we gonna do? I don't know. I said, I, I, I got the idea. I got an idea. David said, your husband... Uriah is out on the battlefield. He ain't been home in a long time. No, no, he, he ain't been home in a while now. I'm going to give him a furlough. <clears throat> I'm going to let Uriah come home. He ain't had none of your pussy in a while. He going to want some pussy when he come off the battlefield. So, Here's what we're going to do. Uriah going to come home off of the battlefield. You give him some of that pussy, Bathsheba. And then we can, you can say that the baby belongs to him. Yeah, Dave, that, that's, that's, well, that's a good idea. That's why you the king, because you can think. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's, a, oh, that's a damn good idea. Why am I going to hell with a pair of gasoline drawers on? You don't know what the fuck they say. You think that everything that they say is in the, is in the Bible? So, he gave Uriah a pass. And, and, and he, he, waiting for Uriah 
to get home the fuck is what? Carlos the she would answer the phone. Bling bling. Yeah, Dave. How you know it? How you know it's me? Well, I was expecting you to call. You right ain't got here yet. Well, I gave him the furlough this morning. I thought he'd be at home with you. By now, you done fucked him good. Well, he ain't here yet. Well, let me check with his sergeant, his major, his general. Uriah got the furlough. But he was so committed to the king and committed to his men, he camped out with his men. Didn't go home and get him no pussy. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. Didn't get in no pussy. Been on the battlefield for months. People walking up to him. Thank you for your service. Damn. David, he didn't come home. Yeah, I just found out he camping out with the men. What well, I'm going to do now? Well, we can't let the community think that you got pregnant by me. So, here's what I'm going to do. You love me? You know I love you, Dave. You love me more than you you love your husband. Yes. Well, here's what we're going to do. His furlough is going to be over in a couple of days. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to tell his general to put him on the front line of battle. He's going to get killed now. And, and, and then after he's dead, you won't be able to say he did sneak to the house and give you some. And I, as a king, saw you as a little woman, and I took you in. So that's what happened. You, you, Uriah was put on the front line of battle, and Uriah was killed, and he took in the wife. And you know the story. You know the end of the story. I ain't gonna give you a complete Bible class here on the night. So this conniving attitude with your side piece is nothing that is is new nothing that that is is new but what do you do and I'm gonna open up the phone lines in a few what do you do when your side piece now that the abortion laws have changed, she can't get an abortion. What do you do? Whether you're the man or the woman. Yeah, thank you, Quinn. I had read that while I was trying to take a nap and focus. Planned Parenthood suspends all of its abortion services in Tennessee. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now? Damn! I don't want this baby. Damn. 
You're going to have to have that baby now. But what if you are the side piece? What if you get the woman pregnant? You've been fucking her for a while. She is side piece. How do you tell your wife about the side piece? Mm -hmm. How good as that drink is. And she on the grill with some ribs too. I must gonna get lucky tonight. Uh how do you tell your wife? That you get an outside baby. How do you form the words? Oh, here come my wife. She ain't here. Is she coming? She went away. Okay. My wife wouldn't walk in while on this part, wouldn't she? So how do you form the words, baby? Uh, see, here's, here's what you do. Uh, wait a minute, what's the record? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what's the record? What's the record? What's the record? See, you, you, you don't know how to tell your wife. Power on. Power on. Thank you. Thank you twice. Successful. Thank you. You don't know how to tell your wife that you, your sad piece is pregnant. It's about to be the hard. Use the Target app to shop and automatically okay. earn one percent rewards on non-red card purchases to redeem on future. It's about to be the hardest conversation that you ever had. Hey Kroger, we team up with our partners I gotta get to these bring you commercial the freshest produce. I am a I got to get this goddamn man. Yo, no, she. Baby, I, you know, I, 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 I got something I, I need to tell you. I, I really don't know. Everybody's gonna straighten out something. Yeah. Sometime. I got something to straighten out. I don't care how old you are, how young you are. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're married, single, divorced, engaged, or yes. attacking. You gotta straighten out something every now and then. But I want you to think about all those times that you heard somebody say, let's straighten it out.
someone was just going all around the house not having very much to say. And I was kind of puzzled. I didn't know what to do. So I looked the straight in the eye and I said, What did you tell Sit yourself down, girl, and talk to me. And tell me what's on your mind. y'all rocking, nigga, I, I know y'all rocking side to side, catch her in the morning and I'll play all of it for you. <laughs> oh. Are there any states of the left that can give you an abortion? But as, as a new rule here in Tennessee, Planned Parenthood no longer is doing business in Tennessee. Hell, going to another state, y'all can't even get enough money to go across a bridge to West Memphis. So, goddamn. So, what do you do? How do you tell your wife? See, we, we will go have uh, uh, California oh, some of these bitches here in Memphis can't get their ass to California Street in South Memphis shit how the fuck they gonna get to California to a border baby is this going to bring about well I know it is it's gonna bring about babies that are not wanted we, we talked about the adoption rate last night last night and how high the adoption rate is. So what is going to happen to these babies and what is going to happen to the baby of the side piece? Okay. What's, what's going to happen to the side piece baby? Now, let me ask you this as a Christian woman. You say You sanctified. You fire baptized. You run around the church every Sunday. You speak it in tongues. But what about the fact that church woman you done got pregnant let's say you got pregnant by the pastor the pastor got you pregnant Your baby look like the several other big head babies in the church from the missionary bowl to the mother's bowl. Yeah. Your side piece man is about to disown you. Yeah. What happens if you get happy in church one Sunday? You got your newborn baby in the church. They done song Amazing Grace and you fucking the pastor. And the pastor gets up. Oh. Brother gun, you just giving a motherfucking excuse, bitch. Shit. 
You know what pussy do when he put a dick in it. Shit. So don't don't get on. Yeah, pastor got you pregnant. And uh, I'm about to leave you this morning, Bonta. Before I leave you, I want you to know that the God that we serve is a good God. Yeah, Pastor, you hold, hold your baby. Yeah, Pastor. Yes. And the Lord will he'll make a way. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. You just rocking your little baby. Can I get a witness this morning? Yeah, Pastor. Oh, Lord. When you think uh, you can't uh, make it, uh, the Lord uh, will be right uh, by your side. Yeah, Pastor. Yeah, Pastor. Can uh, I get a witness uh, in this house today? When you're down to your last, when things seem as though they won't go your way, the Lord, he'll wrap his arms all around you. Yeah, wrap your arms, Jesus. Wrap your arms, Jesus. My Lord, there is some woman here in the house this morning, uh, you trying to figure out uh, what you're going to do. But the Lord is speaking to me and told me to tell you everything is going to be uh, all right. Uh, you may be rocking and, and you may be reeling uh, on this uh, Sunday morning. You can't see uh, how is going to all work out. But put your trust in the Lord. Yes, he will. The Lord, he'll catch you before you fall. Yeah! Yeah, now you're happy. Huh? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And Pastor going, you his woman. You sitting out there. And see, his woman always gets happy before anybody else. Oh, Jesus, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, you know that the Lord, uh, he died for you uh, so that everything uh, would be all right. Uh, can't you see Jesus uh, marching his way uh, up the Golgotha's hill? Yeah, Pastor. Oh, Lord. Uh, and while he got uh, the weight of all of your sins uh, hanging on his back, I heard uh, somebody uh, come along uh, and say to Jesus, must Jesus bear the cross along uh, and all uh, the world go free? No! That's a cross, Pastor! That's a cross! They hung him on the cross. Uh, yes, they did. Uh, they nailed uh, his hands uh, and his feet. Uh, but then they made uh, a mistake. Uh, they lifted that cross up. Uh, and I heard uh, somebody say that if I be lifted up uh, from the earth, uh, I'll draw all the homemongers. Uh, I'll draw all the women uh, that need an abortion. I'll draw all the side chicks. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, Good God Almighty, I'll draw them uh, unto me. And the word says uh, that he died. Yes, he did. Uh, they took him uh, off that old uh, rugged cross and they put him uh, in a barry tomb. Uh, and why did they put him in a barry tomb? It was because he was not uh, going to need the grave on a a long-term basis. He lay there all night. One night, uh, he lay there all night, the second night. Uh, but early, somebody said, early, early, 
Sunday morning. Now, and the side chick, she happened now. So the old old deacon got to go over there. Now, <laughs> the side chick sitting over here, and the first lady sitting over here, and the, she going to shout, and old Deacon Junior Brown walks over there. That girl finna shout. She finna shout. Don't y'all see her? Get that baby. Get that baby out of her arm. And, and let Lord have mercy. The earth is happy too. Let me go over here and get that baby. Lord, go get the baby. What the hell am I gonna do with this little uh and go over to the first lady and hand the first lady the baby. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that little blind motherfucker right up there to you. You gonna stop that sermon? How come it gonna be a little blind motherfucker? Cause you are motherfucker. He gonna look just like it. I'm gonna get your date. Here go your daddy. He's the pepper. Get your baby. All my children do look like me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, so, wait a minute, Mel. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, Mel, my ass. Wait a minute. The baby is innocent. He is. That's why I'm going to bring him to you. Just put him on your hip. Keep hooping. Do what? Put him on your damn hip. You know how to hold the baby and still hoop? Put the baby on your damn side and just keep on. Just keep on hooping. Just keep on pulling it. Because guess what's going to happen? Then the whole church going to get quiet. Because they're going to see the damn resemblance. Then they're going to realize what Deacon Brown did. Deacon Brown kind of set me up, didn't he? He said, yeah, Deacon Brown set you up. Deacon Brown set you up because him and First Lady probably been been, been tipping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now everything's out in the open. Mm. Ain't shit to straighten out, is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in your, in, Mel, mm -hmm. in your Christian mm -hmm. way of thinking. Jesus is still working on me. You the pastor. Nah, for real, I would. I would never mistreat a child. Ever. I don't, I don't so you wouldn't get happy to when they hand you the baby and oops? Hell no. Nah. If I get happy, I'm just gonna. If I get happy, I play like I'm happy and run up there and football tackle your ass. What is the noise? I don't know if it's easy. I think that's Jamie. Okay. But what do you do? She done, she done made the goddamn baby blind and shit now. Damn. But what do you do? What do you do? Now that the abortions are gone, are women going to be more careful about who they fuck? Are women going to make sure that they are protected? And I always say this to women. It's your responsibility to protect your, your pussy. Now when you're getting strange dick, you need an ID card. Not one that says Pookie, not one that says Ray Ray, not one that says Jumbo. One that gives his whole name, his address. You need to do all of this because now you are in a position. I don't even think you can take the morning after pill anymore. So what is going to happen okay what is going to happen did they outlaw the plan B peel as well I know that uh, there was some conversation about doing away with contraceptives 
And I'm telling you, these white people are trying to get some more white babies. Okay. There's too many of them little crumb snatching black motherfuckers running around here. The white man is looking for a way to increase the numbers on his race. Okay? He's still trying to increase the number on its race. The white man in America wants to remain a supermajority in this country. This whole abortion issue started with Margaret Sanger when it was known as the nigger project. The term the nigger project went from the nigger project to the Negro project to Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood was designed and created for the total purpose of the elimination of the black race. Okay. Somebody said just getting rid of the the small condoms pastors. Tony knows. So now you want to tell everybody you got a little dick. Damn. I'm just getting rid of the uh, my small condoms. I'm good, Pastor. It's all about this whole thing is about the white man in America. Please understand that. The bigots, the Mitch McConnells, the, the Donald Trumps, the Supreme Court is setting up rules for the advancement of white people in this country. Understand this. And I heard D.L. Hughley say this today. And I have to agree with him. The white man has never created a law that is going to hurt their race. Hurt the progression of their race. You'll never get NRA approval as long as white folk like to hunt. As long as they can take their little children, one, two years old, teach them how to fire a weapon so when the time comes, they can kill your black ass. It'll never happen. The white man does what is necessary to advance him and to advance. White folk ain't crazy. It's you niggas that sit around and you think that all that you see that is going on is a movie. That this is a is a movie. This is real life. Racism still exists in this country. And I'm not saying that all white folk are bad. No, because all niggas ain't good. Some of you niggas, I don't even want to be the fuck around you. That's the reason I move way out here east. Shit. I, I know one, the, the nigga that live across the street. That's the only nigga. He's a nice man. That's the only man I know. I leave every weekend so I don't have to be bothered with you niggas. I just said the truth. I don't want to live around you basketball in front of the house having motherfuckers. You grilling on the front porch having motherfuckers. Okay? You motherfuckers that hang your drawers out on the front porch and shit. You fixing cars in your goddamn driveway all everywhere. I don't want to be around you wife, you niggas. I don't. 
Shit. Now I'm just telling the truth. Cars pops up in the on the grass and shit. That's what you niggas do. What about else tell you? That's niggerish. You got your sheets hanging up at your windows as as curtains. Ain't got no real bed. You got a mattress on the damn floor. And who fucks a bitch that ain't got nothing but a mattress on the floor? <laughs> huh? You know that's going to be some nasty pussy in the first place. It is. If a bitch ain't got no real bed, her pussy nasty. Because if your pussy was some good and somebody fucking you and thought that your pussy was some good, at least the motherfucker will buy you a, a bed. Shit. You buy beds for those that you love. Hell, Morgan got a bed in my house and it's taller than my bed. Shit. But who wants some old crusty ass pussy on a mattress on the goddamn floor? And you ain't even got no sheet on the mattress. You ain't got nothing but an old mattress and a damn dirty ass pillow. And you think somebody wants some of that pussy. Nobody want none of that pussy. Some, anybody that get that pussy just hard up for some pussy. Y'all know I'm telling the goddamn truth. I'm telling the truth. Nasty pussy. No, I ain't got no box springs. The mattress on the floor. I ain't got no damn a mattress. I ain't got no dressers. Got your clothes all on the floor all around the goddamn room. You, you you get ready to go somewhere, you just pick up something and shake it out. Thank you that you can shake the <laughs> shake the wrinkles out. Mm -hmm. Then you wanna thank your ass shot. Well, walking baby. Yeah. Nasty ass pussy. <laughs> Nasty pussy stinks. Wash your ass. I know some of y'all went to the abortion clinic and they put your legs over them, what you call them, stirrups. Mm -hmm. They put your legs up in the, in the stirrup. You nasty pussy having bitches. Hey, you, what? you sitting up there in the stirrups. They filmed up the whole room. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And you wonder why the doctor put on two sets of masses. Mm -hmm. Bitch, your pussy stink. Wait a minute, what is that walking on? Yeah. Right here it smell like. <laughs> oh, Lord. Badaki. But who's what? it? What's Badaki? <laughs> Jamie, what's Badaki? Booty, dick, and hot pockets. This thing we ride right here smell hot like. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. The ham and cheese came and they got Oh, my God. They just stink. Oh, if they hear it Damn, you pussy ain't smell like hot pockets. Hot pockets, <laughs> booty, all the deep dead ran up in it, just, just nasty. There you go, but do it, see. There you go, there you go. There you go, you see. <laughs> Shit, wait a minute. So, y'all sitting up there with your legs all in the stirrup, ready for the man to take the vacuum cleaner and suck the baby out your pussy. And he found and got them flies. <laughs> Cause your pussy stink. If nothing else, baby, wash your pussy. Okay. Damn, smell like what you say? Yeah. Badaki, you said. Badaki. Badaki. This new them same shit you ain't never smelled before. <laughs> Damn. Damn. It's all of them wrapped up in one. They just nasty. But Badaki. Yeah. Yeah, some of y'all got fires that fly around your pussy. Because they, like, <laughs> they like shit. 
and your pussy smell like shit. You ain't learned how to wipe your pussy yet. Nasty ass around here wiping from back to front. Oh, you get shit on the on the. Where is y'all? You do shit all out the stairs and I can't. Huh? <laughs> they can wipe shit from the ass to the coochie. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> got the nerve to wanna open them legs with somebody, but then. Mm-mm. Damn, Jamie. I'm, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a messenger. I'm just a messenger. You're just a messenger. I'm just okay, a messenger. So they're wiping their ass from, from asshole from to pussy. From ass to coochie. So they know you're leaving some shit on your pussy. Come on, man. Shit, tissue rolled up in it, all type of shit. It's nasty. Oof. <laughs> Oof. All right. Something like, what do you, when your sad piece can't abort, what do you do? And I'd like to hear from some of you men who've been through that and maybe some of you women who've been there. And I like to know the conversation that you have with your wife mm. uh, when you get ready to tell her you done got a woman pregnant. How would you do it? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay over there? <laughs> how would I do it? How would, yeah, how would you do it? Babe? What would it sound like? What would it sound like? Yeah, what would it sound like? Well, see, it ain't gonna happen to me. What would it sound like, baby? Oh, uh, I probably gonna get a passport and go on over goddamn seas or, or something. Cause see, I don't know how I could tell you, uh, Mel. I thought you could tell me anything. Yeah, Mel. See, uh, yeah. what had happened was, uh, that sound like a laugh. Huh? That sound like a lie. Well, see, uh, that's the voice you, you have. Get it out. That's the voice you would have. Huh? That's the voice you would use. <laughs> see, it wouldn't be no need to be dropping to this voice. Yeah. <laughs> this voice wouldn't even work. Sure. <laughs> I'm glad you know. Huh. Uh, this one, you know, and this voice right here is normally smooth. Mm hmm. And, and when I use this voice, I can you know, manipulate some things. Mm -hmm. But it it it, it more, I, I I don't know. Man, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Uh, you couldn't tell me. Tell me. I have a move on here. I what? still can't I'm, believe I'm, I'm there are grown people in our society when they take a dump, don't use air fresh. They ain't got shit to do with it. Because why you worried about somebody spraying behind their sheet? <laughs> Maybe they love the smell. Oh, he just tried to give you an outlet. That's all it was. Okay. Okay, but go we back. appreciate you, sir. Neat. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, man, uh, see, see, I'm stuttering. Mm -hmm. I, I got two records. That I played in the morning on that side piece, baby, and Karen Wolf's stuttering. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how I could tell you. In fact, I wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't tell you. Because I can see you now. You. <laughs> what you say? What? I beloved Pastor Thaddeus Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> he had some wonderful years on this show. <laughs> Damn. Would be that deadly? I'm telling you. Damn. I can hear you now. I thought you said you could tell me anything. Yeah, I, I, I almost can tell you anything. But some things would be hard to tell you. And for me to tell you that I done fucked a woman and got her pregnant Ooh, and I can't pay for no abortion. You ran here married, raw dog and coochie. What? I thought you had practiced it. What? Yeah, you some of y'all shit so fucking air fresheners don't don't work. What? I turn my fan on in the bathroom in advance. What is y'all talking? Y'all got all like I'm like black and mild. Shit. Shit. I know I got the shit. I have one that thirty minutes ahead of time and turn the fan on because that be shit. What the guy got to do with a damn sad piece? Get people sad piece. What? Get people sad piece. <laughs> That's your sister brought this shit up. <laughs> shit. 
I fought it one day in the truck. <laughs> what in the hell? And dropped all four of the goddamn windows, and it was raining. <laughs> Shit. Like, took y'all ass so fast, y'all. Huh? <laughs> Shit. Okay, let me get back to my son. It's like, what in the hell? But no, baby, I, I don't know. I think the baby be old and grown for you do. No, I'm thinking that. Baby, I have to show it. Because you deal with stupid bitches. Dumb thoughts and hoes and skanks and scatter. After what now? You heard what I said. I deal with dumb bitches. Yeah, you yeah, you like them dumb and ugly. So my thing is, your motherfucking ass, they would tell me. They would tell me, you just better hope you would tell me before they do. Because if they tell me before you do. All right, what would be the difference? What would be the difference in them telling you before? Because uh, the difference they lying. They lying on me. They ain't lying on you. I they lying. They, 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 they lying on me. They are not lying. They lying on me. They lying on me. Yeah, they lying on me. Nope. She ain't a fan, baby. She just trying to start some mess. That ain't my baby. She ain't trying to start shit. You a hoe? You did it. And here comes the little sister. I'm a hoe. Mm-hmm. And I did it mm -hmm. just because she said, "Get the DNA, get go call Dana." Call Dana ass. Come on, Dana, we need you. You better tell me before they do. What would be the difference in your reaction, though? If she tell me before you do, my reaction no, might be dead. Be way worse. It's gonna be what? It might be deadly. So why it ain't gonna be deadly if I tell you first? Huh? You might live. A few hours longer if you tell her first. Now. If she come tell her, you count instantly. D O A. He be dead on arrival. Would you? Would you physically hurt? Try to harm me? Mm -mm. She put me on the damn air. You crazy? She laughed. <laughs> <coughs> I was coughing that. Bitch. You said me. <laughs> but what would you do? I'm going to uh, go to commercials and <laughs> and. Come back. A bitch would not tell me nothing about mm -hmm. my husband. I agree with you, Miss Brown. What the fuck? Because a bitch lying. I know my husband. I ain't. I ain't not even stupid. And now that time I tell you, I'm telling you when she tell me, I already know anyway. I'm just waiting on your dumb ass to tell me. Well, you just want you just you just keep on waiting. Mm -hmm. Cause if you think I'm gonna walk up. And volunteer that kind of information. You crazy motherfucker. You walked up and fucked, didn't you? Yeah, I walked up and fucked. Okay, so. But. What's the difference? Cause see, I would tell a little girl, let's go on down to the to the abortion clinic. How much did it cost? How much did abortions cost? I don't know. I ain't never had. Oh. Uh, But you think I'm going to walk up and tell on me? You should. Why? What you mean, why? Nope. You are on a mission to save that for a sandwich. I'm not going to eat that for chips. I am. And sandwiches meet your cheesy, thin, crispy Cheez-It Snap Savior. Oh, cheesy. Cheez-It Snap. Level up your lunch. Goodbye, Cheez-It.
And I want to hear from you. When your side piece can't abort the baby, what do you do? Have you been some woman over there? New York, I am not going to talk to you. In fact, I'm going to take your number out. I'm going to take your number out of my phone. I'm going to put you on block right now right now okay all right when we come back I'm going to stay here for at least another 30 minutes uh, unless it gets good to me so let me take care of some commercials and uh, we'll be back on the best talk show in the world, the Thaddeus Matthew Show. Do you need a custom design t-shirt made for any occasion and you don't know where to go? Well, you want to call D2G Screenshots, owned by my good friend, John Olam. John specializes in direct to garment printing. You can put anything on a t-shirt that you can take a picture of. You just snap it, send it, and wear it. No design is too hard for John. John will fix your t-shirts up in a matter of days and have it back to you. Whether it's for your business, whether it's for your community organization, whether it's for your girls' night out, whether you've got a motto or a theme that you want the world to know about, John Olin and D2G is the place to go. In fact, he's been doing the Cussing Pastor t-shirts now for a number of years, so I strongly recommend him. 
call 279-0434. That's area code 901-279-0434. John Gatcha. Real estate and yes, criminal law. David Poole has practiced in most every facet of the law. David Poole presently serves as a Shelby County General Sessions Criminal Court Judicial Commissioner or Magistrate for the past six years. He handles such matters as arraignments, warrant reviews, seizure hearings, warrant reviews, order of protections, and much, much more. David Poole, if elected, will make sure all matters in his courtroom are addressed with a sense of justice and fairness. On August 4th, vote David Poole, Criminal Court Judge Division 6. Early voting starts July 15th through the 30th, paid for by Pool for Judge William Davis, Treasurer. Veronica Cooper wants to be elected as judge in General Sessions Court Division 5. Veronica Cooper got her law degree in 1997 from the Villanova University, did her undergraduate work at the Morris Brown College in 1994. Veronica Cooper has 25 years in private practice, admitted to the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth District. She's also a former college professor, entrepreneur, and philanthropist. She is also a member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. She is very diverse in this community, holding no prejudice and feel that everyone should be equal and treated with fair justice. She also says that Shelby County needs a judge who knows that her role is to serve the people by showing up to work working hard and treating those that come before her with respect and dignity. She says, I am that judge. She says, vote for her because she will show up and eliminate the current waste in General Sessions Division 5. She will value the citizens of Chevy County and work hard on their behalf and respect the bench and respect those who come before her. Early voting starts on July the 15th through the 30th. Election day is August the 4th. Vote for Veronica Cooper Judge, General Sessions Court, Division 5. Pay for by the committee to elect Veronica R. Cooper Judge, Ayla Tootin is a treasure. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tariqa Hewlett, and I am running for judge of General Sessions Criminal Division 11. Just to quickly tell you about myself, I've been a licensed attorney since 2001. I have my JD, MBA, and postgraduate law degree called LLM. I'm happy to say I've stepped foot in practice law at every court in Shelby County. I have worked both as a criminal defense attorney and also a city prosecutor for the city of Memphis. I am familiar with all aspects of the criminal justice system and the criminal litigation process from arraignment to jury trials all the way up through the appellate level. But I want to tell you why I need your vote. You know, going to court can be a stressful process. And you may want to say, hey, I'll never end up in criminal court, but the truth is, you never know. You could be a witness, you could be going in support of someone, you could be going to testify about a matter, and that could be very stressful. But one thing you should never have to worry about or stress about is how will I be treated when I go before the judge? 
I'm asking for your vote. A vote for Tarita Hewlett means that everyone that walks in Division 11 will be treated with dignity and respect. Yes, I've received several endorsements also, but today I'm looking to get your endorsement. Please vote for me, Tarita Hewlett, for Judge General Sessions Criminal Division 11. Thank you. Hello, I'm Judge Betty Thomas Moore. I have had the honor and the privilege to serve as your judge in Division 5 of General Sessions Civil Court for the past 16 years. I made history as the first elected female judge of the Shelby County General Sessions Civil Court. I dispose of thousands of cases making impartial and just decisions. I am proud to serve Shelby County. Thank you for your vote. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Betty Thomas Moore, Alvin Moore, Here's your invitation to Melanie, Mrs. Cussing Pastor, 47th birthday party in Blue Show. It's Friday, September 9th, 7 p.m. at the La Place Ballroom and Event Center, 5841 Sycamore View in Summer, right behind Church's Chicken, featuring in concert L.J. Eccles. Do you want me to get it? From the back. O.B. Buchanan. Summer Wolf. If you want me. Mr. Sam, Red Velvet, and introducing new summer and soul sensation, West Dawn. If you don't want to treat me right, somebody else will. It's Melanie, Mrs. Cussing Pastor's 47th birthday party and blues show. Friday, September 9th at the La Place Ballroom and Event Center. Tickets are $40 in advance, $50 at the door. VIP, $65 per seat at a table of nine or a whole table for $500. Tickets available only at CussingPastor.com. The MC for the evening, none other than the Cussing Pastor, Thaddeus Matthews. Get your tickets now. All right, and we are back. It's gonna be a good, gonna be a big party. You know, I've had some people ask me, "Is the party open to everybody?" Yes, it is. It's open to everybody that's got a ticket. Okay, it's not a free event. It ain't like going to your girlfriend's party and. Uh, Y'all at the house. No, no, no. This is this birthday party is costing me about fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars. But she's worth it. You know, I got my days with her, but she's 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 worth it. This is her first birthday party. And I want it to be a great party. And I want you to come and be a part of it. Is on, um, <clears throat> what's that football thing? Southern Heritage Classic weekend, and um, the game is that Saturday, and I'm not promoting uh, the Southern Heritage Classic. I just know y'all gonna be in town. Many of you from Mississippi are gonna be in town. Uh, Fred Jones does not patronize me. He does not advertise him. I don't. He did one time, but I don't think the white folk that really own Southern Heritage Classic FedEx uh, will allow him to advertise with me. But many of you are coming up from Mississippi, and uh, you're coming up for the Jackson State. Uh, who is a Tennessee State game? You coming up, so you might as well come on to the Blue Show. In fact, I had another commercial that I cut just for Mississippi. Melanie, Miss Cussie Pastor's 47th birthday party in Blue Show, starring L.J. Echoes. 
You know, we got a motherfucker that loves to call me because I use this phone. I'm going to switch phones on some of the stuff that I do because there's a motherfucker that knows I'm not going to answer the phone, but it knows that I, I could put it on that, what you call that mode, uh, where my phone won't ring, but I also use this to take calls. But if you want to come to this birthday party, it's going to be off the chain. It's going to start at 7 o'clock in the evening. You're going to have Wes Dunn out of uh, Dallas, Texas. Her son will be probably coming with her. Uh, his name is Jay Swag. He's got a hot record out there. So he, he probably going to throw in a number. Uh, what's the name of it? Boy, I ain't a player no more. Uh, he'll probably be with her. Then you got Red Velvet. Uh, then you got uh, Wes Love. She can sing. Ooh, Wes Love can sing. Yes, ooh. Summer Wolf is on the show. Then you got Mr. Sam. You got O.B. Buchanan. And then you got L.J. Eccles. No time limit. We're going to start promptly at 7 o'clock on the 9th. Now, I need you to go ahead on and order your tickets. There are no physical tickets, but the tickets will be like we did my birthday party. You'll have a seat. Tickets are $40 in advance, $50 at the door, $65 for a VIP seat, okay? Table holds nine individuals, $65 for a place. You're going to be right at the stage. If you want to buy a whole table, uh, it's only $500. Now, you add up six times. Six, I mean, nine times 65 versus uh, 500. I think you'll find out that you've got a bargain. All you got to do is go to the website www.cussingpasta.com. That's where you order your tickets. www.cussingpasta.com. Ain't a show like this. Nowhere. I'm not black. Can I come? As long as you pay for a ticket, I don't give a fuck. No. Man, this ain't f just for black folk. It'd be nice to have some white folk in in the uh, in the mix. Uh, so please come. Go ahead on and ooh, my boot there. Uh, and order your tickets now. Don't wait till the last minute. People will come back. I want a VIP ticket. But you want to wait until the last minute and all of the VIP tickets will go. Okay? All you got to do is buy a ticket. And uh, we own like a good part of, of neck bones. Them some good acts. Good X. So, come on and be with us on that. Okay. Let's take your phone calls. Let's take your phone calls. Nine one two three one nine two three nine. I'm going. I'm going to stay at about nine thirty. Uh, what's your view? When your side piece can't abort, what do you do? I'm only taking sensible calls. 
I don't feel like hearing none of that bullshit. What do you do? Have you ever been the side piece and you get somebody pregnant? And side pieces come in men uh, as well as women. Men as well as women are side pieces. So, 901 231 9239. 901 231 9239. 930, I'm gone now, so you better jump in right now. Yeah, yeah, Tony, it's a grown folks party. There will be food at the party. There will be security, armed security at the party on the inside and the outside. Nobody gets in free. Okay? Nobody. Promoters, you don't let me in your shit. You don't call me to your shit. You don't patronize me for your shit. So, don't come to my doors thinking you can get in free. Okay? In fact, I don't even really want no promoters at the birthday party. That's that's the way I, I feel about it. Because Memphis uh, promoters, you don't support me. I play the blues five, really six days a week. And I can't get your advertising. You know, and I don't ask for nothing free. So, you know, I'm I'm not going to patronize you, and you don't patronize me. It's just as simple as that. Pay me like you pay the white peoples. And if you think you can do it without me, I understand you. That's your privilege. But please know, I can do it without you. I'm doing this blues show with no sponsors. I ain't got no sponsors. I ain't Kellogg's and Nestle is quick and all of them. This this uh, birthday party <coughs> is cost, and again, it's costing me about roughly fifteen thousand dollars to put this show, this birthday show, together for mail. So. And it's coming out of my pocket. So I ain't, I ain't got to kiss no sponsor's ass. Nothing. This this is what I want to do for her birthday party. But if any of you, you local sponsors think I need you motherfuckers, please understand I don't. I would love to work with you. But, you know, I don't know why y'all don't want to work with me. I'm really a nice guy. <laughs> I'm really a very nice person once you get to know me. But I think I'm, I, I'm grateful to all these judicial candidates. And white people don't even try to Jew you down. I tell them $3,500. Yes, sir. So damn. Nigga wants to know what you can do for $500. Mm -hmm. Nothing. But tell you to get the fuck out of my face. You candidates running for school boards and you ain't spending no money. I don't give a damn how great you think you are. If don't nobody know you in the race but you and your mama and them and, and your host of family then you will lose you you're going to lose okay well all you white judges that uh uh you ain't advertised as of yet call me let me take care of you you black ones with some money 
I ain't got but a thousand dollars. You ain't got enough. Okay. Don't spend all your money everywhere else and then think I'm gonna take your goddamn crumbs that fall from the goddamn table. The devil is a lie. All right. If you want to speak on what I'm I've talked about tonight, the lines are open. Okay. The lines open. You ain't gonna feel like cutting those spot tonight. Hi, I'm Melanie Matthews. Yeah, just wait. And I want to invite you to my birthday party. You gonna tell me what to say? Yes. Well, it ain't my damn spot. If I could, if you it is my spot. It is your spot. But I'm telling you what to say. Why? I ain't been doing this shit for forty two years. Okay, well that's fine. But why you can't let me be me and do like I don't know how to? Because I don't want no goddamn essay. I want it done in about fifty. I want it done in about 15 seconds. 15 seconds? You out of here, you get 60 seconds and I only get 15. That's some bullshit. That's only a damn quarter of what you get. That ain't even. It's my goddamn show. That's our show. The regular show ain't our show. Yes, it is. How is it our Because show? I'm your wife. Everything you got, we, it's ours. So why I get 15 seconds? Because that's what the time slot. You don't, it's called a liner. No damn liner. We use liners in garbage cans. So what are you talking about? Now you're trying to be a dummy. Dummy? The, a liner. I'm a dummy? A liner. What? Like, you're listening to the Thaddeus Matthews. Oh, you want me to do a one-liner, is what you're saying. Oh. You're listening to the best in blues and southern soul with my husband, Thaddeus Matthews. Oh, you want me to, I can do that, baby. You want me to do that? Me and Morgan can do one. Put Morgan out there. You listen to my fatty bear. Uh-oh. <laughs> Damn. I know when you been drinking. What you mean? I been cooking. No, I ain't play no games, sir. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. I done cooked Morgan four pounds of Don Crab legs. You did what? Cook more than four pounds of crab legs, and you got to cook two slabs of ribs, some spaghetti, some candy yams that you like you can't do that. I've been cooking, so don't play with me. Damn, so I'm you deserve to get a little tipsy. Uh -huh. All right. All right. I'm going to go, y'all, if y'all want to call. 901 231 901-231-9239. How many pounds of crab legs you fix her? Four. And ain't none left. She need the boys down there too, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Demari, Demari didn't want any. Demari, my baby didn't want some spaghetti. She didn't learn how to crack the crab legs then. Somewhat. I, I was down there cracking them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start cooking that shit till she learned how to do it herself. <laughs> All right. What is your view? What is your opinion on when your side chick can't just abort, what do you do? Tomorrow night we'll probably talk about what's going to happen now that you can't abort. Uh, do you think women will be drinking turkey? What was that drinking? Turkey time? What, what was what was turkey time? Wasn't that something that you rubbed yourself with? Uh, did you what? What was turkey time for? You were in a word. To accept, press one. Yes, who is this? True. Why is your phone echoing? Cut whatever it is. All right, here's the rule. Cut everything down when you call me. Why am I getting that echo? Hello? Why am I getting an echo, sir? Crickets. You two dumb motherfuckers even talk. Oh, you have that with the crickets and shit. Give me your glaze. Ooh. Huh, get this and give me your glaze. I ain't gonna have nothing to drink. So you ain't drinking it, nothing. I'm drinking it slow. For what? So I don't get high. 
Mm. What's your view? I like to hear your view. What is it? His name was Jimmy because all we heard was crickets. Okay. That's a good line. Mm -hmm. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. 901 two three one nine two three nine men have you ever been in that particular situation mm. oh by the way judges and don't you just running starting on the 15th I'm going to do a midday show just for early voting I'll be pushing the individuals who have spent money with me. I'll be talking to those candidates and urging you to go to the polls and vote for them. I haven't decided what it's going to be from 12 to 1 or from uh, 1 to 2. Uh, I'm thinking more like it's going to be 12 uh, to 1. Did I take up your lunch time? I ain't saying word. Alright. Alright. Well, I guess I can go. Okay. Uh, I you know I thought about getting mail uh, at one time. A food truck. But Memphis is too dangerous for that food truck shit. Because her mom and them can burn. But I'm not going to do that shit here in Memphis. It's not it's not safe at all. But I am thinking about going into the brokerage business. Yeah. Uh, let mail handle that and I just get the money. Uh, well, we split it. Oh, freight brokerage. So, um, <clears throat> but anyway. All right. If y'all ain't gonna call me, I can go. I can go. I can go eat my spaghetti and my ribs, my candy yams. Ain't no crab legs left, I'm sure. You didn't ask for no crab legs. But I had three pounds of crab legs right. earlier today. So I'm not going to eat any crab legs tonight. <clears throat> but I thought that this would be a good subject. And men don't want to tell for themselves, maybe you're a woman. That you can let's go to Forest City, Arkansas. To accept, press one. To send a voice to the Go ahead. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Hello? All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. God damn it. Wait a minute. Put your radio down, man. Cut your radio off, motherfucker! Shut your mouth for the Don't tell me what you got going on out that Man, cut, cut, cut your radio. You trying to hear? You trying to hear your ass on the radio TV? Sound like a big ignorant motherfucker. Motherfucker, fuck you! You sound like a fat ass church sissy. Damn! Look, please, when you call me. Cut your shit down. Don't nobody want to hear you in the background, motherfucker. You want to hear yourself. God damn. I'm the motherfucking star. Fuck you. Shit. How come you dumb motherfuckers can't figure that shit out? You got your radio all the way up. Dion Powell, I don't want to talk to you, ignorant ass. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. You're a stupid motherfucker. 
you di you direct at the Church of God in Christ in Forest City. Sis and motherfucker, you? Shit. Damn. Yeah, you sound like you're a fat ass church sissy. Oh, trying to wear them, trying to wear high heels and shit. With a blonde wig. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Shut it, never, 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 never do. Yeah. Huh? What, what Morgan want? Come here, baby. Morgan. What you want? She want what? She want to change your TV. Go ahead, baby. She want to change her TV. What TV? My TV? Downstairs. She don't need to be watching you no way. Go ahead, baby. My TV? <laughs> Morgan. Morgan. You want to change my TV? Like, yeah. Go ahead, baby. Don't try to come down there. Go ahead. They be looking at that Pokemon and all that other kind of shit. <laughs> all right. I ain't going to get no sensible calls tonight. So I can go. I think it's interesting. The modern night I want to talk about. Let me write the subject down because my mind ain't long. The repercussions... Oh, the reversal. Huh? No, you something What's going to happen? And I'm still trying to remember what what turpentine was for. What did you clean? Use it to clean with or something? I know that. I think they were saying something about. Women back in the day could drink turpentine. For an abortion? Yeah, go sit on the toilet. Mm -hmm. And the baby was going to come out. I know somebody did that. Did they live? They live. And, 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 and the baby did too. The baby did too? Mm hmm. They, call her. they were actually pregnant with twins. Oh, no. Motherfucker, we ain't going to talk to your ignorant ass. Fuck you. We ain't telling no church sisters on Tuesday. Yeah. We'll talk to a church sister tomorrow night. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Y'all call the sister and tell them I don't want to talk to them. 870-494-0574. Area code 870-494-0574. 0574. His name Dion. My name Dion. I'm I'm the choir director at the first coming out the river Church of God in Christ. Bishop T. D. Jakes is my bishop. And I just want to tell Daddy Matthews a little piece of my mind. Keep that piece, motherfucker. It might hold the rest of that your sorry ass brain together. Okay. Whew, I'm from the go. I'm from the go. Speaking as a registered nurse, I'm looking forward to calling on tomorrow's subject matter. Please do. Love you. The repercussions of the re the reversal. Is it going to affect blacks more? Is it going to affect whites more? Is it going to affect marriages, relationships? Are people going to be using homemade methods of abortions? You know, y'all sell your food stamps on Facebook. You sell these bogus tags on Facebook. You do all types of illegal shit on Facebook. Will we be seeing, I can abort your baby. For just twenty nine ninety five, will we see women pulling out the vacuum holes, turning up high, 
and sucking the baby out of them, out of themselves. Mm. Thanks for the entertainment. Mika, if you didn't get no information on it, you's a dumb son of a bitch and don't need to be here. Long woman's car stolen while she's paying for gas at the pump. She didn't cut her more off. She said, let me just pause mine right here. She said, you can, mine's on him. She said, get on in it. I'm going in yours. Uh, they let me all have her own show. The cousin passed away. Man, I don't need no goddamn show. What would you do on a show? If I gave you a, a show. What? If I gave you a show. If you gave me a show. That's all one you can well, get first with. Of all, here's the thing. First of all, I have more patience than you do. And I allow individuals to, you know, give their point of view without just automatically cursing them out. Now, I know how to curse. You know that. You know what I'm saying? But I would at least hear them out before I cuss. So, you know. Your shit gonna be dull. Mine? What? Is it dull now? I mean, you give an accent to what I do. But I don't think you can do this by your damn self. Okay, baby. That's fine. You are, you're absolutely correct. And, and, and I don't want to. I don't want to. But if you want to take one night out of the week, you know what I'm saying, and I sit up there next to you. You're trying to steal, you're trying to steal, right? I, no, I'm just saying, if you want to take one night and I sit up there next you're to the you. You're the limbo working these, and, these controls and shit. And neither do you. See, that's when I ain't giving you shit. <laughs> Small talking motherfucker, you. Ooh, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, but you have to know how. We can pick a top. I ain't got to do the no. I just said I was sitting up there with you. No, we got to do this. this. No, I said, I didn't say my own. I would sit up there with you. And we would pick a topic, maybe one mm -hmm. night a week, where you going to have your viewpoint and I'm going to have mm -hmm. mine. And we more than likely not going to agree. You know what I'm saying? But we got to agree to disagree when it's all said and done. You be trying to over talk me on my shit. How the hell I'm trying to over talk you on your shit? No, when it's my turn to speak, it's your turn to listen. Your turn? That's what I said. The motherfuckers get no turn. Do you get one? It's my show. Okay, well, damn it. It's our show. I told you oh, about this shit. This shit. What the hell is that? Oh. Yes, it is hell. <sighs> He's so messy. Oh. I'll think about it. We want Melanie. That's what they say in the comments. They tell you that. Melanie Mondays. Right Melanie there. Mondays. She can't have Mondays. <laughs> Monday, we, we don't know what's going to happen over the weekend. And I have to be, be able to. the Wednesdays. You know, Wednesday is hump day. It's going to be winding Wednesday. down. You sure don't know what to say. Wine Wednesday. Oh. Winding down with wine on Wednesdays. Mm. Yep. No, the liquor store be giving women 10% on, on wine. Girl, on I got VIP status. I mean, oh. <laughs> I be ready to go in and say, I'm sure that the liquor store be giving 10% off of Wednesdays. I told a girl, I got a VIP card for the liquor store. I have to wait till Wednesday. I know. <laughs> to do what? To get a gift card. Yeah, I'm going to do what? Anything I buy, she. Liquor, they, she got a VIP. You got a VIP card on the liquor store? Baby, you ain't got to tell any folks all my business. Daddy, I go in the next time like I'm I'm meddling this since y'all. You stop doing like are you in there getting my damn beer? Sure, he's gonna get that 10 look at her. See that? You get 10 percent But you when you ask for me to pay for it, I pay the whole thing without need, the discount. I don't, I don't need the discount when I'm paying with your money. Hey, that's some doo doo. This thumbnail. We welcome Mel. <laughs> she has excellent viewpoints. <laughs> And commentary. Bring her on. Baby, I know this your show. First of all, I'm not trying, I'm to, take you know I'm not trying to take over your show. I ain't trying you to take over your this Your condo, you know, because you get a little bit territorial when you. I'm territorial about the whole thing. I'm the best. Know, that's what I'm saying. You ain't nobody. Saying what I do. We sure. just say you wasn't the best. Ain't nobody trying. I ain't trying to be you. 
need to be used. I don't come to the bank and tell y'all. You show me it up. They would let me work there no goddamn way. They sure wouldn't. Like, don't even, is it? Two motherfuckers calling again for shit. You got the same $25 in there you had 25 minutes ago. Fire. Can you say fire? Can you say don't even come back tomorrow? Baby, let me help you go and pack your drawer right now. Let me get the white ball. Oh. I might do a show. Let me. Them might. Them folks say Mia for president. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty Thursdays with Mia. I like that. Okay, turn to Tuesday. They, they, they ready, <laughs> but they not in your day. Look at you, look at you. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be the first guest of honor. What's gonna be our topic? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Y'all got my shit already planned out and shit? We planned it. We're going to be prepared. I need to go ahead and spend that money. For my callers going to know how to act, though. See, your your, oh, your shit. going to know how to act. My callers going to know how to act. See, you ain't be able to hold your composure. Because you's a little cussing motherfucker now. <laughs> she was already a cussing woman until she <laughs> ran across the cussing past. It just like, it just amplified. She got a shirt that's... Miss Cussin Pastor? Mm -hmm. Somebody made that shirt for me. But you had it made. I didn't have right. it made. They made it for me. I'm finna go. Ooh. It's 9.36. Y'all in call. I think y'all will be good on doing football covers. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. If I get mail every time I don't got damn football. <laughs> Don't like no number about football, but man, I don't know about no goddamn football. <laughs> if it don't make me no money, I ain't really interested in it. <laughs> don't bring no football up the hood, she really gonna get the holiday cussing. Yeah. Where is it? Because we have to go in separate parts of the house uh, when football games <laughs> on. Because I don't give a shit about football. <laughs> no, I started looking at some of it with her. I don't know a hair back from a tail back. So, shit. What you say? Uh, All right, I'm from the go. Make promise first before we. I didn't promise you, motherfucker. Shit, this, this. Wait a minute. Let me, let me get y'all set. <laughs> when I married this motherfucker, I had already been doing this a whole bunch of goddamn years. <laughs> I don't need melanin to make the Thaddeus Matthews show. Can you say that? The, I, I'm telling the motherfuckers. <laughs> Cause y'all here over here in the goddamn amen corner with that bullshit. I'm gonna give her one night of this shit. And show her that you can't do this shit like I do it. I'm not trying to be you, sweetie. Okay. I'm my own individual, period. Yeah. I'm not trying to be you. I'm 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 gonna I'm 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 let you do this shit one night. I might get you some more advertisers. Well, as long as you, if, if it makes me some money, I'll... Money, I'll, 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 it makes sense. Shit. Oh, hey, now. Shit. And then how you know you know that somebody needs to go back. Yeah, you don't need her, but she is definitely an asset with her commentary and land. Her commentary. I'm waiting. Because what you got to say about it? What about your damn commentary? Yeah, I'm trying to see what you've been to say about it. What you got to say about it? <laughs> I mean, your commentary, all right. Oh, easy. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, but yeah, shit. I don't know whether you can sit here for two hours and just do this. First of all, I'm not trying to be you. That's what you got to understand, sir. But you also have to understand that I'm able to understand other individuals' viewpoints that sometimes fly over your head. No, it's just, I don't even want to hear that shit. But that's not nice. Not I'm not nice. Talk, you just said a minute ago you was a really nice person. Now which one is it? I'm you nice when I'm off the air. Okay. Then. I ain't nice when I'm on air. Are you nice when you off the air? You don't think I'm nice? Two. <laughs> X Morgan. X Morgan ain't that nice. This is Morgan. That's it. <laughs> Who else? You know that I ain't nice to me. I'm not nice to your goddamn ass. It's, they damn sure won't say I'm nice to me. I what have I ever been ugly with you, Jamie? I ain't gonna say ugly, but a uh, rogue. 
Oh, baby, somebody said male Fridays with the men, so they want me to have. You want me to have a show with a me and call it? Y'all out to me. Y'all be pissed out, man. Y'all don't know now. Who would have said that? Y'all don't know, man. You start. Y'all finna cut this motherfucker's <laughs> blessings. <laughs> Who is that? You about to get it? You about to get up? Cut off? Cause ain't nothing wrong with that can afford her. She's a high maintenance motherfucker. And then y'all got nerd beat. Yeah, and then I'm down at the casino. I win. I win what? Nothing, man. Don't show her no shit. I win a jackpot. And she won't have half of it. That's your wife. Yours, mine, and ours, baby. I already gave her about fifteen hundred dollars. All right. Why don't you put my be really? It's money. But we had a good weekend. It's good. So you put my so I didn't put yours out there. You put my business out there. Well, I won. I don't care. You tell me what you got. You really put my business out there. Well, but everybody know I give you my money. I'm a trick for you, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> get a drink to kick the. Drink to kick the. Oh, the kick the. Nah. Shit, give me some of what Jamie got over there. It's gonna really kick in. Why that? I'm drinking fine, fine drink. Got hair in my mind, and try to convince me that I had told her she could have hair, cause I've been pulling my money out. Of the, of the Buffalo! <laughs> <laughs> and I had about a hundred and some odd dollars on there. Now I'll keep on playing. You, hold on, you was getting ready to cash your ticket out and give it to who? I was going to give it to you. Because it wasn't a little old measly hundred dollars. That's what right. And you and said, oh, baby, said baby, you cash this out, huh? Because you, when in the morning, when you get up and play, you can start out with this. That's what you said. Yeah. And I said, don't pull that damn ticket out that machine. I said, keep playing. And you hit 75 cents. I said, don't you bet that little bit ass shit. Well, and I, I told you. You know, that's an accident because I always I bet that uh-huh. accident. And I told, I told you. Bet and when it got to several thousand and all them little coins and shit. Mm-hmm. You know, I was drunk because I had sat there and had about four Tito's <laughs> and crayons. <laughs> Like T.W.C. <laughs> T.W., you better get your ass on the off with this shit now. Gone on now. No, you can't afford her, motherfucker. You can't. Wait, 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 y'all. Get your ass up off with this shit now. Somebody said don't start, don't try. <laughs> you better tell them, cook it, don't start no shit. Her allowance, her allowance is almost a thousand dollars a goddamn week. And on top of her, the little Morgan come with her, you can't afford it. <laughs> Jamie been speaking for Morgan. They a package deal, man. This motherfucker. Shit. Morgan got a whole $3,500 bedroom suit. Come on, man. In my house where I moved in. Every every two, three days, she need $15 on Roblox. (laughs) Then she want her braid every week. And she want to go to the store every day. And she eat. She wants her nails done. And she eat. And she wants And shrimp. She eat the high seafood. You can't motherfucking McDonald's Happy Meal, her baby. Yeah, T.W. Because her family got her spoiled. You a gone motherfucker. You gone get the fuck on the way around here, T.W. Yeah, T.W. going to set y'all in. T.W. going to go on with this shit. Yeah, ain't gonna cut her baby's blessings. Shit. And I ain't. So I can't afford me. You can't afford me and more. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> T.W. really bothered the job, dude. All the like sparkles and shit, too. She like real diamonds, Mr. T. Baby. Mm. She don't do cubic. It's a Motherfucker, you gon' can you afford your mammy? <laughs> That's the <laughs> bitch you need to be talking about. You can you afford your mammy or old sick in the hospice <laughs> <office, laughs> as heaven, bitch? T.W. You know what I hope you talking about? <laughs> Who is you talking to? That man on some of his other men out here can't afford me. Well, it, I mean, <laughs> we tell that's nice to know, baby. Look at your ass afford. Yeah. Hey. This, motherfucker, this motherfucker gets every time she wants a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars for this, a hundred dollars for Inflation. this. Inflation. Amen. Don't shit cost fifty dollars no more. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Inflation. She got the inflation and Morgan got the taxes. So what you gonna do now? 
You done made the damn man a damn commentator. He said he's true. You didn't block him. Look, Jamie, look. Who are you? Jamie, but hold up. He done made him a damn commentator instead of blocking him. Motherfucker, you can't afford him. You can't work nine to five, motherfucker. You can't be a nine to five working motherfucker and afford this motherfucker I got here. Yeah. I work at Kellogg's. I work at Ford Express. Better load some motherfucking planes, motherfucker. And take off and parachute into New Chicago or some goddamn way. <laughs> He gone now. Mm -hmm. I was drinking this shit. You ready for him? Let's see. I almost want to hit her that blunt that she got over there. <laughs> what? Huh? I don't know what the pastor told me, y'all. Man, there is no other show like this in the world. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors uh, about it. Man, and it's wrong. It's before I was a cousin pastor, I was known as Pastor Raw, and it's just like this. I've been like this all my life. I just tell you what the fuck is on my mind, and go on from there. Okay. All right, y'all didn't want to talk sensibly, but tomorrow night a very serious subject. Whew. I'm the, not gonna be mean to people on my show like y'all. What's the subject for? You ain't got your, the repercussions. Of the reversal. Who I'm be here. What? <laughs> the bells on. What is it gonna make women do? Yeah. Okay. Unthinkable. Are women going to go into self abortions? That's one of the focuses that we'll have tomorrow. Will women go into uh, forced abortions? And again, I want to know what turpentine was for originally before some women started to drink it. Paint thinner. Who? It was used for chemicals and paint thinner. Was it a paint thinner? Mm -hmm. Looked like it would be poison to you. It is if you drink enough of it. They're going to be advertising for abortions on Facebook. You watch. Y'all laughing at this shit. But if a motherfucker go on there and sell a uh, they food stamps and got a whole bunch of hungry motherfuckers. Uh, if they sell these bogus ass tags, what's wrong? None. Demari was outside on the back porch. Okay. Uh, then you know what they will do. What's going to be the repercussion? It's fucking going to be outlawed. Hell no. Uh, oh. Contraceptives going to be outlawed. What is all of this going to lead to? Well, okay, it's a paint remover. Okay, took my time. Looked like it was a baby removal too. I'm buying stocks and condoms and Plan B. Shit, I need to buy some stock in the condom company too. I know somebody that drunk turpentine, trying to do their own thing and. And and what? They didn't know it. they were pregnant with twins. One they, they did what now? They were pregnant with twins and didn't know it. Lost one. And, and the other one was born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think that abortion is wrong? Is it a sin? Does a woman have the right to choose? All of those things. We'll talk about tomorrow night the repercussions of the reversal. Okay? Thank you so very much for being here with me. It's just about 10 minutes now before the hour. So, it's been a plump, pleasing pleasure. Join me on the radio in the morning for the best in blues. If I'm out of your radio area, then go to WAGR. WAGR on the Tune In app. And you can get me from 6 a.m. Central Time until 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank you so very much for being here with me. It's been a ball, y'all.